The holiday shopping season has been shattered by the recent flash mob style robberies across the Bay Area. And now city leaders are scrambling to address the spike in crime. KPX 5's Justin Andrews is live in Union Square. Justin, are shoppers worried? Well, right now, things seem to be normal. People walking their dogs, taking a lunch break, even doing some shopping. But when you see these boarded up buildings and you see extra patrols in the area, and then you talk to some of these people, that normal mood changes. Days before Black Friday, normally a time to shop and spread a little holiday cheer. That was scary. It's sad, it's scary, it's disappointing. But people who live, work, or shop here say some of their cheer has been stolen, like the merchandise over the weekend at the Louis Vuitton and other Bay Area retailers. I wish that they, they would stop and that, you know, us people would love and respect one another. Spending hours in Union Square Tuesday, we spotted several windows boarded up as clouds of concern hang over shoppers and businesses. The San Francisco District Attorney Chase Boudin says there are at least 25 people involved in these mob style robberies who are still on the streets. Today, his office awaits more arrests and will likely announce felony charges. Stephanie Yarbrough lives in the area and says her shopping routine likely won't change. I'm still going to go into stores and browse and, and do all the things I would normally do, but um, I think it's just a bummer. But other shoppers are scared. Investigators worry the crooks could strike again, so there's been a more prominent police presence. They all around this thing. Yeah, I just noticed that. In hopes of deterring criminals and adding a layer of safety for people. As city and police officials do what they can to curb this recent crime, one woman says it starts at home. Well, if we all work together and talk to our kids and tell us to stop, and if people would teach their kids how to act, it'd be more better. So we've been talking to the DA's office, the city's DA's office, and they tell us that those charges, those felony charges are set to come down at about four o'clock this evening. When that does happen, we're expecting a press conference. We'll stream that live on CBSN Bay Area. We're live in San Francisco. I'm Justin Andrews, KPX 5.